What's going on everyone? Welcome back to the Outsider's Edge and today we're going to rip open this Marvel Beginnings uh, blaster box and this has uh, five cards per pack and then nine packs per box so this is actually the volume two series one so I don't think I got any of the volume one so these are actually kind of hard to find um i bought these a month ago whenever i went to eureka springs and i'm just now getting around to um, ripping these open so it says to discover creator autographs from legends collect original first draft sketch cards so that'd be cool to get um i've i have a quite a few uh sketch cards and they're really awesome because they're one of kind pieces and then this shows the different um, variants of other cards and, you know, the odds of pulling those. So, um, like I said, it's been a while since I've really ripped open any type of blaster box, but especially a Marvel set. Um, these are, are really hard to find. Um, I know some of the bigger cities, they're kind of more common, but... Um, you know, when you li live in a smaller town like me, it sucks because you have to pretty much check every other day or twice a week, but, um, there's usually, usually those people that just buy them all out, you know, and what sucks for the rest of us. So, all right, let's start with the first one. Got Moon Knight on the pack. And I don't, I've seen a few un, unpackings of these or rippings, but this is going to be new to me, so I'm not sure what all they have. Um, there's Namor, Justin Hammer, looks like a red parallel Stingray. That's pretty cool. This one isn't numbered, so I'm not sure. I'll have to look at the odds of pulling one of those. We have Cosmic Spider-Man and Komodo. I don't really like that. See how the New Age look? I'm not really a fan of that type of art. I like the old school, traditional, like this one here especially just you know what I grew up on I guess but I don't know you see it a lot more now but they still have those um, artists out there that try to keep the the more classic look or I don't know if you want to consider it classic but all right stilt man Lyra and we have demon bear the blue variant. It's not numbered. Kingmaker and Puck. I got the um, build a figure of that figure. All right, next pack. They had another set that was circulating. Um, I can't remember which one, but that was really the one I was trying to find. But I had to go with the beginnings. Arnim Zola. Madame Hydra. We have a Green Goblin Refractor. That oh, says Rainbow. That's cool. Uh, Danny Ketch and Victoria Hand. So this even this these are cool. I didn't realize that till I pulled that refractor. It'll tell you if it's a base or you know the refractor said uh, rainbow, which I've never seen cards do that. I normally look for the number for the more rare, um, but 
it's kind of cool that they um, do something like that for, especially for beginners. No pun intended. Ah, the man that is all the hype right now, Kang. Got Impossible Man. And then this says illustration boards. It doesn't have a glossy feel to it on the front. It's pretty cool insert. Then we have Wave and Gorilla Girl. What in the hell? I never heard of her. Anybody heard of Gorilla Girl? I've heard of Gorilla Grog from you know DC, but this is Marvel. All right, we have Mariko Yashima, Yashida. I'm butchering that. Then we have the base of Green Goblin, and then looks like another in insert Crimson Gem of. Torak. So, Kane Marco became a living juggernaut and left his brother Charles Xavier. Huh. Interesting. Then we have Dupe. <laughs> I don't even. Not sure who that is. And then another demon bear. So are these, a lot of these are names I have not heard, to be honest. But is this like their beginning? Is that why they call this beginnings? They're kind of being introduced. I know there's a couple that, especially that one. That we already know who they are. Ooh, Sabretooth. That one looks cool. We have Abomination. Looks like another insert. Weapon Plus program. Deep Lore. Hmm. Then we have a red. Um. What type of refractor you call that? Supernova. That's cool. And then we have a base carnage. That's a pretty good pack. We have three three packs left. Do they have hits in these? I wonder. It says that the uh, base set is 180 cards, man. And they had a ton of these. Like I said, it's weird how some places get none and some get, you know, cases. Dreamweaver. We have Molten Man. Got Spidey. Looks like another insert. A point in time. Along came the spider that bit Peter Parker. Interesting. Ashley Barton and then Blink what is this it's got Wolverine on top of is that someone dressed as T'Challa or is that supposed to be T'Challa I don't know Next up, we have the Jackal. Ooh, what is this? Alpha Flight Team Formations. That's cool. So I guess it's like a... I need to look up the rest of these. I like those uh, ra random teams like that. I think um, 
my favorite would probably be the Howling Commandos. I'd like to see, you know, a movie of that, especially by James Gunn, but now that he's gone to DC, that would never happen. We have Nebula and then Pyro. That's freaking awesome, too. All right, one more pack. Can we get something special? Like sketch card. Do they have the patches on these? All right. We have Frankie Ray. Jane Foster. Another deep lore insert. Uh, says Wolverine had the history of Weapons Plus at his fingertips. So is this supposed to be a Weapon X? Or I don't know. I don't know. Then we have Lady Deathstrike and Penny Parker. So pretty interesting cards. Um... You know, I didn't notice any any big hits. There was some of the um, parallels. Probably the Jubilee. That was a red supernova. Was my favorite. Or the rainbow green goblin. So let me know what you think. And as always, please be sure to like and subscribe. I am so close to getting to 200 subscribers. And I like to um, pass that, you know, that next mark. So if you can, help me out to hit that like button. All right. Thanks for watching.